So, it, this power supply should power the clock because it's 9 volts, 300 milliamps. But does anybody notice what I did wrong and didn't check? That's right, the polarity positive on the outside on this power supply and the pin is negative and I didn't notice. So now using my new handy lens from eBay macro lens for my smartphone um, as you can see this surface mount capacitor seems to have blown that's where all the smoke came from yeah, according to this schematic here between raw and ground is uh, capacitor 19, a 10 uh, microfarad capacitor. However, I found this which suggests that this uh, capacitor which should be placed in between the voltage in to ground, uh, if there is more than 10 inches of wire between the input and the AC filter capacitor or if a battery is used as the input. Um, so that might not apply to me. Yeah, that's confirmed here in the data sheet. Um, so with not a lot to lose, perhaps I'll just remove that capacitor um, and see what happens. Yeah, so I've got direct short between v uh, VIN or ROAR on this one and ground. Um, I'm fairly sure it's that capacitor that's blown up. So I wonder what will happen if I just remove it. I have just plugged this in via USB and it powers up and runs the sketch quite happily. So let's see. So there it is, that's gone and that's looking a bit better. Okay, so now let's give it a go on this quality ready cell. Success. This sketch is set to uh, once the bootloaders are on, it's set to turn that LED on for one second and then carry on as normal and do the um, voltage meter clock. So let's see. That seems to be working like it should. So the voltmeter clock is finally finished, mounted in this galvanized steel enclosure and uh, riveted in of the meters um, I thought these meters looked particularly industrial um, so I thought it worked quite well in this metal case um, it's telling the time quite accurately as you can see it is 9.55 now over many seconds yep that's about right the Arduino Mini survived its ordeal and uh, it's quite happily working inside there now. So I hope you like the finished product. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and comment down below. Thanks for watching.